Grade 6 Math Number 12.6a Area of Triangles and Trapezoids Any parallelogram can be divided into two congruent equal triangles. See? The area of the triangle is half the area of the parallelogram. See how we can cut it in half? Just go across to the vertexes. We could have even have gone this way, couldn't we? So the area of the triangle is half the product of its base and height. The formula for the area of a triangle is A equals half BH, where the B is the base and the H is the height. So the area is half of the base times the height. Okay? And the height is the perpendicular height, remember? So take a look at this blue triangle. If the area is 72, and we know that the base here is 16, would we be able to find the height? Well, the formula for the area of the triangle is A equals half BH. Area is equal to half the base and the height. So we know the area is 72, so it's equal to half of 16 times the H. Well, because this is multiplication, the inverse is division. So to get the H by itself, what we do is we do half of the 16, which is 8, and then we divide each side by 8. That'll get rid of this 8 here, and then 72 divided by 8 is 9, and that gets the H by itself. The height is 9, see? We just divide both sides of the equal sign by 8. A triangle has one base. A parallelogram has two bases. See, it's shown as base 1 and base 2 with a little 1 and 2, like that. Sometimes that's base 1 and that's base 2. It doesn't matter. Have you ever noticed when you look at a parallelogram? Well, the area for a parallelogram is the area is equal to the base and the height. It can be cut and separated. If we don't go quite to the vertex, we can turn a parallelogram into two trapezoids. Look at that. The formula for the area of a trapezoid is the area is equal to half the base 1 plus the base 2 times the height. So you add base 1 and base 2 together, you multiply that by half, and then you multiply that by its height. The area equals half the bases added together times the height. So if we've got a height of 6 centimeters and base 1 and base 2 are 8 and 14 centimeters, we add the 14 and the 8, and we get 22, and we multiply that by half. Half of 22 is 11. So the area, since the height is 6, is 11 times 6. The area is 66 centimeters. See? Do you see how we did that? You just take it each step, plug in the information into the formula, and then slowly do it. See? What if it says to find the height? What if we don't know what the height is here? Well, we know that base 2 is 8 and base 1 is 12, and we know the area is 70. So to find the height, we've got 70 is equal to half of 12 plus 8 times h. So we do the 12 plus 8 and we get 20. So we know 70 is equal to half of 20 times the height. Half of 20 is 10. So now we've got 70 is equal to 10 times the h. To get the h by itself, we do the inverse of multiplication, which is division, and we divide both sides by 10. That'll get the h alone. 70 divided by 10 is 70. We've now canceled the 10 over 10 out, and now we've got 7 is equal to h. The height is 7. See? If it says find the area for the triangle, and we know the height is 21 centimeters, and this base is 25, the area is equal to half the base times the height. So it's half the base times the height. So we do the base times the height, the 21 times the 25, and we get 525. The area is half of this. So we divide the 525 by 2, and we get 262.5. So we know the area is 262.5 centimeters. See? This one's a little tougher. If it says we need to find out what base 1 is, we know base 2 is 16 inches, 
and the height is 20 inches, because this is straight and this is a 90 degree angle, we know the area is 340 inches squared. What is base 1? Well, the area is equal to 340, so we put 340 equals, and then our formula for the trapezoid, half base 1 plus base 2 times the height. So we plug in our numbers, and we have half times base 1 plus 16 times 20, because that's the height. We multiply by 2 to get rid of the half. The inverse of half would be to double it, right? Instead of half of something, we have 2 times something. So now the 340 becomes 680, because we do the same thing to each side of the equal sign. And now we've gotten rid of the half, okay? So now our equation says 680 equals the base 1 plus 16 times 20. We can divide, because this is multiplied by 20, we can divide both sides by 20 to get rid of the 20. 680 divided by 20 is 34. And now we've got 34 is equal to base 1 plus 16. So to get rid of this 16, because we're trying to get this variable by itself, we subtract 16 from both sides because it's a plus 16. See? 34 minus 16 is 18. We know base 1 is 18. Okay? So remember, you use the inverse, the opposite operation, to get the variable alone to one side of the equal sign. Okay? So this one was a little bit more involved to find a base. I'm going to make the next video, 12.6b, just about this. Okay? So we'll go over it again. So that's the area of triangles and trapezoids. And I will see you next video. Watch 12.6b if you want more explanation on finding the base. We'll do it again and have some more examples. Bye.